Hi friends, this is JP. I want to welcome you to my channel today. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Today is going to be a longer video. Um, I put out a poll um, about a month ago or so uh, asking if you guys would like to see my pencil collection or my supplies collection or different things. And um, uh, by popular demand, um, people would like to see my supplies. So, yeah, um, the one that was voted like the most um, was pencils. So I'm going to start with pencils and then I'll branch off from that to like markers and gel pens and watercolors and stuff like that. But um, I... <laughs> It took me a minute to pull all my pencil sets because they're like a little bit of everywhere in my house. <laughs> and so I kind of had to track them down. And then I was like, okay, I have empty spots in this case. And I have like only a few here. Well, we'll stick here and here and here. So I was trying to like uh, minimize boxes as well. And during the process, I did uh, de-stash a couple sets that I do not need. Um, I have plenty of pencils, <laughs> but before I start this video, um, I did a video like this before a long while ago and, um, I had some negative Nancy's out there that, uh, kind of put me down and said I don't use my pencils enough and I know I don't use my pencils enough and I'm trying, um, I do, and I have been collecting these things for quite some time, so it's not like I bought all these pencils within the last year. Um, yeah, I I do love my coloring supplies, and um, if you do comment um, in the comment section, please make them be positive comments, because with the negative comments, I steer away from doing these kind of videos, uh, because I... I don't like to get negative feedback. Uh, I know, I guess I'm not a very tough shell, but um, I just, yeah, I wanted to share the love of coloring with you guys. That's why it's called Jamie's Coloring Love. And I, I just thought, okay, I'll share these with you. It's not intended to boast or brag or anything. Uh, I just thought, well, maybe I have something that you have been looking for but didn't know was out there that maybe I can open a new world to you by showing it on the channel. So without further ado, we'll just get started. I'm gonna start with like my tins and like box type containers and then we'll just go on and then I'll do my pencil cases towards the end, which isn't that far. Uh, so. We'll just get started. I'm going to start with my mechanical pencils. So I have these, and I have opened them up, and then I put them back in this. I don't have them like in a pencil case. So these are the June Gold um, 36 mechanical colored pencils. Uh, I remember when I was on the hunt for colored pencils that were mechanical, it was because of traveling. I wanted to be able to color but not have to worry about bringing a sharpener with me. And so I decided to pick these up. These um, these ones are a little scratchy. Uh, I think these are more designed for maybe a sketch artist. Uh, it says these ones are oil-based, these particular ones, and uh, the barrel is very light. And it's a circular barrel, I believe. No, hexagonal. It's very light, and on the bottom here, where the hole is, right there, that's where you can stick in your end and twist it if you need this to be a really sharp point. So I guess it has built-in pencil sharpener, so to speak. And I've used them a couple times, but not much, because I prefer what I'm gonna show you next. These ones may go in the donation pile, or maybe I will give them in a future giveaway because I do not reach for these, but they are good pencils. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna show you is these. I have the bigger set too. So 
It's the Zebra Zensations um, mechanical colored pencil. And these are the ones that I got back in 2018. And um, they're triangular and they're just a mechanical color pencil. And I enjoyed coloring with this little set so much that I decided that I wanted to have the bigger set. And this case is kind of unique. It has this thing that you can make a huge mess. <laughs> you can turn it into like a portfolio so it stands like that. But I enjoyed these so much. I got the larger set of 24. Um, and then I realized that I couldn't find the refills of this at the time. And um, I decided that I would keep the smaller set in case I needed the refill. I think you can buy refills for them now. Um, what's nice about these is they do have a number on them. So if you do swatch things out, you can swatch these out. And I think that these would be really good pencils if you have a finer color by number book like uh, George Tufexis and you like to use pencils but don't want to worry about um, all the uh, sharpening. You just want something easy that you can go on a travel or something like that, or even just a really fine detailed book. But it does fill in space as well, and they do blend pretty, pretty well for a mechanical colored pencil. So yeah, I have this 24 set, and then I have this little 12 set that, that I wanted to get because I enjoyed this one so much. So yeah, I don't know if I'll give this away unless I get refills and then maybe I will, but we'll see. Next little thing I got is these. Um, now I was trying to find a box for these because this box is pretty hammered. Uh, this is the Prismacolor Premier uh, Verithins. And there's 36 pencils in here. Now, these pencils are different than regular Prismacolor pencils. And, uh, they come unsharpened, just so you know. But they are a very fine point, and they keep a point, unlike regular Prismacolor Premiers. And these are actually made in Mexico. And... I got them because I thought I would want to have a pencil in my collection that could get into the really fine details if I became interested in a really, really fine detailed book. Uh, so yeah, I've had these for a while. Um, I have debated about de-stashing these ones actually, but we'll see, you know, <laughs> time will tell if I do it or not has this interesting box so you can stand it up like a like a little portfolio stand. Uh, I have this little box right here. I really like these containers. Um, I got these from Hobby Lobby. They were in the dollar section. I only grabbed three. I wish I would have grabbed more, but it is what it is. In here are my Gold Faber Aquas. They used to be in a little pencil cup on my desk, but I switched them to here just because they were just getting banged up. Look at this little guy. Um, so they color down nicely and they activate with water because they're watercolor pencils. I do like watercolor pencils and I do like Gold Faber. Uh, God, uh, gold Faber, <laughs> and they're made by Faber-Castell. Now, they do have a barcode on them, so that may makes me think that maybe they uh, can be bought open stock. Um, they are made in Germany. So, yeah, those are those. And I don't have, like, swatch charts or anything. I'm just kind of telling you about them as I go. Because I don't really care to swatch my pencils. I know, I'm lazy in that way. I have another one of these containers. These are um, Crayola pencils. I have some of these Kindness, uh, Colors of Kindness by Crayola colored pencils in here. And then I also have in here the Colors of the World 
Crayola pencils. Look at that. It's like warped. It's like looks like this. Um, I haven't actually used these. I'll be honest. I've sharpened them because I wanted to have them nice and sharp, but I haven't like used them. <laughs> I don't know if I will. Uh, maybe I'll just give them to my kids. Uh, Crayola pencils tend to hurt my hands if I use them too much. Maybe I'll just use them on smaller projects or something. But I really liked the Kindness set because it had some different colors in it. And then the Colors of the World set. So that is those. I have these pencils that are woodless um, colored pencils. Uh, it has color name and color name and like number. These are from a company called Balib. And um, when I originally ordered these, I thought these were going to be watercolor pencils. And when I got them, they weren't watercolor pencils. And um, I messaged the company. They said they would send me the right thing. They never did. It never came. Um, I tried to branch out to Amazon to tell them the issues that I was having and now you cannot get these pencils anymore so if that's a reflection on just bad customer service with that company I have no idea um, but I do like the idea of having a colored pencil that is woodless that is just a regular colored pencil I was gonna get rid of these since you guys can't like actually get them but they are a decent pencil and so I'm just gonna keep them as a, as a pencil just to use in my arsenal. They kind of feel like a big, really thick crayon. Look at that mess. It's going to be a very messy situation here. <laughs> this one goes flying across the room. I have this little Crayola box. That I got at my grocery store. It has pencils in it. It's dusty. This out almost dead. Well, go get another one. They're all charged it's in the kitchen. It's super dark in here. <laughs> Hang on two secs, guys. I'm going to just press pause and then help my son. And I'll be right back. My son is like so silly. He says, I'm super tired. And I'm like, then go to bed. <laughs> okay, in this Crayola tin. I like this tin a lot actually. Um, you can get this tin on Amazon for about six bucks. They even have like ones with the baby Grogu on it and like Disney characters and one that looks like the Crayola old fashioned Crayola box. Uh, but this one is the one that was at my grocery store and this is just what I picked up. So in here is a conjunction of some different watercolor pencils. I have these ones that have no labels on them. These are the Heathrone watercolor pencils, woodless watercolor pencils. I love these guys. Um, unfortunately, you can't get these anymore, or they took them off the market. I don't know. They're just not available anymore on Amazon. But Arteza makes a woodless watercolor pencil, and I'm wondering if they are just as good as these. But I don't have the Artezas, so I cannot speak from experience. But I do have the Heathrow ones, and they work great. And then I have the Crayola watercolor pencils in here as well. So it's just a combination of some different watercolor pencils. Uh, like I said, I really like the Heathrow ones, but it's a bummer they're no longer in stock. Um, try the Artezas though, I think they might be good ones. And then my last haul, I showed you guys that I got these, the 240 Color Piece Premium Watercolor Pencils. I haven't done anything with them yet because I recently hauled them. And yeah, so there's the Soft Touch uh, Premium Expert Pencils. And they're, um, if you guys remember, they're uh, wax based. So I'm going to give you a quick look, but you guys have probably seen them on a gazillion channels. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, and they have the color name, Light Fast Rating. I don't know how good the Light Fast Rating is on this, but um, this is uh, what that means. And then this is uh, the 
pencil number and then it says the brand name Calor and the ends are capped meaning there's paint that covers the whole thing and it is a round barrel and a lot of people say really good things about these pencils so yeah those are those let's see if we can put this back on And if you can hear my kids in the background, they'll get quiet as the movie goes on because they'll get tired. That's my daughter making a noise because I said something about the kids. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. Put things back where they belong. Okay, what have we done this far? Then in my last haul, I also showed these that I haven't used yet, but they're the Brilliance uh, Mega Color uh, Metallic Drawing Set by Create a Color. And these are them. And these are very, very thick barrels. And they have um, barcodes on them. So I think you can buy these open stock, probably on Blick. And it says the Brilliance. And they're made in Austria and right like here it says marvelous mint and then a number and then they are capped on the end so they're they've been dipped and yeah these are very thick thick cores so there are those ones and you need a special sharpener for these I have the 50 piece uh, macaron um, colored pencils by Color, and I did swatch these out. <laughs> Look at that, I swatched them out. Um, so that's the colors you get. And if these are a reflection of the other colors, like if they are laid down just like this, they are very smooth, very, um, they're, I believe they're wax. I don't know. Wax? Maybe not. I don't know if it says I'll tell you <laughs> um, but they're very soft they're not as mushy as a Prisma but they are pretty good pencils and of course just like the other ones it has the color name light fast rating a color number and then it says color on the end with a round barrel so that is this the 50 now, if um, I can find a case that can fit these plus my big set, uh, like a pencil case, then maybe I will switch to a pencil case. But right now, they live in the tins. In my last haul again, um, I shared these with you. These are the Indra Creative Professional Color Set. 72 colors of their, this is their pastel line. And this is what these look like. Um, I haven't had a chance to swatch these out, but they are all metallics, or not metallics, pastels. Forgive me. Um, and if you take a look at these pencils, they have a square barrel, and they have a number right here. It's kind of shiny. I, it is etched in there. But I think the paint will come off the more you hold these. So, yeah. And I did sharpen these in my um, electric pencil sharpener. And they did work even though they were square. So, you shouldn't have any issues with sharpening. And, of course, they say Indra on the bottom. I think that these are a very stylish pencil. I really like, the, the, like how they dipped them. It's very nice. But I can't give you like a real review on these because I haven't really went to town on these yet. But I'm excited to. Okay, next one I have is the Nioni watercolor pencils. And um, I talked about these in my haul. And um, we did some testing with the watercolor to see how these performed. And um, 
I'm eager to do some more work with these. Uh, just a kind of a glimpse. There's gold writing on it. Usually when there is a paintbrush on your pencil that indicates that it's a watercolor pencil. So it's water soluble. And it does not say the color name. It just gives you a color number. You want to say hello? Hi. You're tired? Here, go lay down. No. So, yeah, and this one has a hinge lid. This one might end up in a pencil case in the end just because my box does not close properly. So we'll see how soon I can get a case for that. One. Next one I have is a little bit dusty because of the type of pencils these are. Um, these are the 60 Pit Pastel Pencils by Faber-Castell. Uh, my husband purchased these for me. Um, so these ones look pretty much brand new because I've only used them one time. Um, yeah, these are pastels, like soft pastels in a pencil form. And they have a very thick barrel. Yes, honey? I did do that one. Just a minute. Um, they they have a barcode, which makes me think that you can probably buy them open stock. They're made in Germany. Uh, they say Pit Pastel on them, and then there is a number, but there is no color name on the pencil. So if that bothers you, that's something to keep in mind. Um, this is kind of what it looks like. I am going to just keep them in this tin, just because um, they're very like chalky. And what I've, I've have tried some different techniques with them. Um, I think if you're going to sharpen these, you want to have their own sharpener because you don't want pastel shavings inside your electric pencil sharpener. I think it would make a very big mess for your other pencils. But yeah, there are these pencils by Faber-Castell. I have this tin, which is very shiny. <laughs> These are the Creative Color, the regular set, which I haven't even unwrapped because I just hauled these guys. So these are just like the Brilliance Metallic set that I just showed you, except they are the regular colors. And um, I'm really excited to try these out. They have color names and numbers and barcodes with a really thick barrel. And in case you didn't see my haul video, uh, this is the pencil sharpener I got to go for these. These the the one that's actually made by Create to Color, uh, Credit Color, <laughs> uh, and it says Mega on it. And you just put it in this larger slot. So yes, that is those. My last one that's in like a tin or box um, are these. <laughs> so this is one that I spoiled myself with a few years back. Uh, this is the Uni Color Pencils. Mitsubishi, yeah. Mitsubishi Unis. And I think this is the 120 set. It has a very unique uh, case. I kept this in there so I could see how to uh, like properly and open it up. I'll tell you, it's kind of a pain in the butt <laughs> because it takes up like your whole desk when you set it up. And I have used these before. They work great in the Rita Berman books. Um, I'm just going to pull one so you guys can see. Uh, it's uh, It says established uh, 1887 Mitsubishi colored pencil and it does have a color no name and a color number and they were ma they're made in Japan. So these are absolutely lovely pencils. Uh, people do com compare them to the Naomi's, but uh, since yeah. I have these, I don't have the Naomi's. And yeah, yeah. I wanna keep this box cause I think it's really cool, but I think in the end I may be taking 
my pencils out of the box and putting them in a case just because the it I just work with my pencils more when they're in a proper case so yeah that is the uni colored pencils <laughs> Alright, so that was the boxes and the tins. Now I'm going to move on to my pencil rolls, which are usually my extreme budget-friendly pencils. Uh, a lot of times these are the ones I give my kids to color with. So this first pencil roll, which I do love a pencil roll, just so you know, are these. So I'm not going to unroll the whole thing, but it is a full set. Um, these are the Marco Graffine colored ah. pencils. Uh, these ones I got on Ally Express, and this was back when I started my coloring journey back in 2018. And uh, I think these were gifted to me from a, a friend in China, uh, but she, um, I think she got them from Ally Express. And um, yeah, they just say the the number and Marco. Well, I don't know if it's this number. Okay, so this is the number you want to go off of. The 513. The 7100 or 7100. I think it's the, like, the brand or something. Part of this, yeah, thing. These are okay. I mean, they're all right. They do lay down really well. And like, like you can see, I have used some of them really well. I mean, it's not like they're going to waste. Um, and I do give them to my kids to color with too. So, yeah, they work. Uh, I didn't have any problems. I remember I used these and I dripped some water on it and it didn't have any issues. So these do respond really well. For a first colored pencil, I would say they're pretty good. They are um, hexagonal in barrel. So if that bothers your hand... I'd either suggest one of those pencil uh, grips or um, not to get these ones. I do think uh, Marco Ruffin has another set that is round, but don't quote me on that because I'm not sure. You be quiet, honey. Uh. Next set I have is in this tropical one. I can't believe my son is still awake. <laughs> okay, so this is the next set. Let's pick one that we can actually see. All right, so this is the Mark Art set, the small Mark Art set. And they're the expert ones. And they have color numbers. Yeah, right here on the end. So that's all they have is color number and it says Mark Art on the end. Now they are dipped. They've dipped it so you can't see the core on the bottom. They are um, a pretty decent weight. Uh, yeah, these are a decent pencil. I've used them a few times. And my kids have used them a lot. I didn't use them. Wyatt's used them. So, yeah, they're nice. I think they're really pretty. But I only had like the small set. I, did, I just got the small set because it was on a really good deal and I wanted to try them. And then I picked up the case for like seven bucks, the roll, or maybe it was $6.99 or something. I just wanted to be able to store them, not in the tin. And then people told me that Star Joy was very similar to the Mark Arts. And, you know, it was like the craze to try the Mark Arts. <laughs> Kitty. Next one I have is in this kitty case, which my daughter recently used at the kitchen table. And it's these ones. And these ones I did a review about on the channel. These are the Sergeant Art, um, Sergeant Art Supreme, I think is what they call them. And they, uh, they do have color names on these, but no color numbers. They look very similar to the Spear Farbens, but they perform totally different than the Spear Farbens. Um, they do work all right. Uh, I've 
I find that you need a piece of paper that has some tooth to it if you want to use these. But they do have um, a decent color range and they're not incredibly expensive. Gold. And they look nice and they're, they've been dipped on the end. Yeah. I do wish that they had numbers on them, but this is sometimes what you get when you have a budget-friendly pencil. Are you getting another one for me? Yeah. Okay, can you go turn off the bathroom light, please? Okay, my daughter grabbed me another one. This one has kitties on it, too. This one's made out of, uh, looks made out of canvas on the outside. And this one is my Crayola Blend and Shade. So, uh, these ones, is this a 50? I don't know, 50 or 32. Uh, I think this is the biggest set you can get. As you can see, I have used these. Um, I do like these. These are better, to me, these are better than the regular Crayola because um, they're softer. They do have the color name and they come in different languages here, but it, no color number. So take that as you may. If you really want color numbers, you can use like a Posca pen and write numbers on like the tips if you wanted to, or like put a number and put some tape around it so it doesn't fall off. Um, I don't really swatch, so it's not that big of a deal to me. Yeah, uh, these are a decent pencil for a starter. Um, I do say if you have a heavy pressure or a tight grip, maybe these aren't for you because they can hurt your hand if you're working with them too much. But they, they do work good in Amazon print paper books or even marker base and pencils on top. Okay, thank you. Can you take that one? And put the other ones away, please. What? And this is my final pencil roll. And if I can untie it, I will show you what's inside it. All right, there we go. All right, what? so these oh. are the original Magic Fly pencils. Magic. Um, yeah, <laughs> they don't have color name, they don't have color number, they've um, changed. The way they look now uh, if you buy the magic fly pencils they have a black barrel now they're not a full color barrel it, I think it's like a black barrel with a dipped end um, I do not have the big magic the new magic flies because I have this set and this is, sets just fine I love these pencils guys for a budget set I need to use them more actually Maybe I'll have to use them in some of my Lulu Mayo books because I'm working in those. Um, they just go down really easily. And they're just soft and stuff. Now, of course, it's not a Prisma, but uh, these are wax-based, by the way, I think. Or maybe they're oil-based. I don't remember what it said on the tin. It's been forever, guys. I got these 2019-ish. But yeah, they have really pretty colors. Uh, like I said, they changed the look of these pencils, but I think you can still get the Magic Flies. I think they're still on the market. And if you like this unicorn pencil roll, I'm sure you can still find that on the market too. I like to have pencil rolls occasionally because I can roll it out on my table and I can see all of my colors in front of me and that's nice. Unfortunately, I think the highest pencil roll number count you can get is a hundred. Um, after that, uh, they don't make them any bigger. So yeah, but you don't want this pencil roll that's like this big. How compact is that? You know, um, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, stop the video here for a sec and then I will start recording a new video that is going to be, um, uh, start of my pencil cases. All right. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back. Um, hopefully I settled down the house enough that it quiets down for these next sets. 
Um, I'm going to start with my itty bitty pencil cases. Um, and my smaller pencil cases. First one I have is bright orange. I have two different types of pencils in here. I have these, which are the the Faber Castell Black Edition pencils. They're triangular barrel and I think they say they've been made in Brazil. But it's so hard to read. <gasps> yeah. I don't see any like color numbers or names on them. I have kind of colored down with them a little bit. I'm not that impressed and a lot of people seem to like them. So I'm not, I'm not sure what I think about these, honestly. Maybe um, if you have the Black Edition Faber-Castells, uh, you can let me know in the comments what you like to use them for. And then I also have these ones, with a, which are the um, Faber-Castell Color Grip pencils. I remember when I first got these, they're triangular barrel and they've got like these ridges on there for gripping the pencil. They don't have color name or number, but you can write it where it says name right here. So if you want to um, color name them and code them and stuff, you could. When I first got these, I got a really tiny set. I loved them to death. I mean, they went down to like the nubs, literally. And so I picked up another set and now that I have the second set, I don't love them as much as I did when I first got them. And I wonder if it's just because my color and style has changed or maybe at the time my hands weren't the best shape. Maybe they were hurting. I don't know. But um, they're a harder lead and they're wax based triangular um, shape. So both of these are triangular shape. So I just put those ones together. Uh, next one I have is in a purple case, which is pretty banged up. Um, and this is my first set of Flowwood colored pencils. So yeah, you can see I have used these pencils. So. I do like the Flow Woods. Um, I think they perform really well for a budget set. And they do have dipped ends and they do have a number. No color name though, but that's okay with me. Um, yeah, I enjoy coloring with these. And they do fairly well in the Amazon print paper books. Um, yeah. And of course, they're going to do good on high quality paper too. I don't think I've tested them in Johanna Bassford's, but yeah, that's these. And you can now get the bigger set, which I do have the bigger set. I'll be sharing those with you in just a minute. Just going through the little ones first. And maybe I will get rid of the small set because I have the big set, but we'll see. Next one I have is this case. I love this color, this teal color. It's like kind of like a faux leather. I don't know if it's real leather. And these are my gold fabers, my regular gold fabers. Um, these ones do have barcodes. This is the number right here. So you can swatch these out. I do actually have two sets in here. One is just a set of 12 and the other is the full set of 48. I think it's the full set. So I've put both of them in here. I love these pencils and the nice little town books. I think they lay down really well in those books. So yeah, that's all I have in this one. Next one is a purple one, just like the teal one. So it's this full leather. I, I think I like this better than the other type. I think it withstands better for time. And these are the Ream Refined colored pencils. So they look like this. They have a color number and a color name. I've only used these on one page. They are a good budget friendly pencil. 
and has a nice color range. As you can see, I've used oh, look at those tealy colors. This reminds me of Princess Jasmine colors and lots of blues. And this has a really good um, selection of browns that are the warm browns. A lot of warm browns. So that is the Ream Refined colored pencils, which are wax based. This one is like a conglomeration of pencils. This is a very old case. We've got dings, yeah. This actually used to hold my very first set of Prismas. And then we evolved and got more Prismas. And then it became the whatever I could fit in this case, cut in this case. So we'll go through the, the zipper pockets. First off, right here, I have um, some Derwent burners, burnishers. These ones right here. This is a Derwent blender and this is a Prismacolor blender. These pencils right here are the Pentallic pencils. Um, I got these because they were really budget friendly. And I just wondered how they were. They're okay. Um, a little better than a Crayola pencil, but nothing too exciting <laughs> to write home about. One of those that may be taken out of this case and donated because I don't use them. See, there's only these many colors, this and this, and then it stops there. And then I have a small selection right here of the fine touch metallic pencils. Those pencils are the ones you get from Hobby Lobby. So it starts off with this black one right here, then gold, and then goes on to there. And then following those, I have the Koei Noor Hard Muth Tritones. So these pencils have several colors in one. I have used these. Um, and they're definitely a learning curve. These particular pencils are a very thin barrel, very comparable to the Lyra Rembrandts. Um, they do have like a barcode and like this is called Volcano. And so that's kind of cool. They have cool color names on them. Like this one's called Metal. This one's called Evening Storm. So yeah, they're harder lead. So definitely these take, um, take some time learning. And then in the very back, I have the Crayola tri, um, Tritone. And so it, this is called Iris Petals. So it has all shades of purple in it. And it doesn't have a cap dead, and so you can see the core in the middle. And I just got these, I got these really cheap and I wanted to try them to see if they were decent enough to compare with these. Um, they're Crayola pencil. They feel like a Crayola pencil. Uh, yeah, that's why they haven't been used much, but there are those. I want to zip up the one because the pencils are so skinny. The Koei Nors, they'll slide right out of their pockets. Next case I have is this blue one. Uh, this one, this particular case was on sale. It's kind of different. It's got these little skull things on it. I've got two different ones in here. So, let's see what we got. First pencil are the Color Emotion colored pencils, which I have used some of them. Uh, they say Color Emotion on them and they're Deli pencils. I thought these were, had a really cute case. They have little smiley faces on them. This says Exotic Gold. What sucks about these is as you use them, this is going to go away. Like, like you're going to actually sharpen off the color name, which is like a total bummer. So... You would want to add a color number and maybe like swatch these if you wanted to remember the names. But it's just like a total bummer that you, as you sharpen them, you would lose the name. So it says Hopeful Red and their triangular barrel. Yeah, that's 
these, so there's not very many of them. Next ones I have in here are these ones, which are the Stetler Ergo Softs. Mama. What, honey? Can I see sleep with me? No, honey. I don't want the top on the bed. She'll pee on my bed. No, she won't. So these ones um, are triangular as well. You can put a color name on it if you want. They feel kind of matte finish. So they're a different texture of paint. They're made in Germany and they do have a barcode on them. Uh, I've seen Johanna Basford use these in her books. I will be brutally honest with you guys. These are the hardest pencil I have ever used. That is why they're still in here that look like they haven't been touched. I don't love them. Um, maybe I'm just not sure how to use them. They're very different. I mean, the tip is colorful and then it's like white. They're just very different. So the whole um, words of ergo soft or soft they're not soft, I'll be honest. They are hard leads, big time. I don't want the dog on my bed right now. You can go pet her if you need to. Next one I have is this case right here. It has little um, bows on it. And this is the Pecos colored pencils. I was sent these for review a while back. And they look like this. They have kind of like a turquoisey green barrel. They do have, um, they're dipped on the ends. And they do have numbers on them. I think they go to 72. I think it's the count. And these, uh, I haven't used these, but my husband used them when he was in town. So they have been used. Um, oh, and I used them on my review video. So I did use them for a review. Uh, they are soft. Uh, they're not very good for layering, but for straight coloring, they are, do a pretty good job. And that is what these look like. I actually had another set and I sent that set with my husband because he works on location. So he could have them in his trailer. Um, yeah. So the Pecos. Oh, the Pecos. Wax base. Next one I have is in this really cute monster one. And they must be relatively new. Because they don't have a tag on them. And I think I already know what they are. Yep. These are the Arctics. Arctic 72. And you can see I've used them. Uh, I really like these a lot. Um, the Arctics uh, blend beautiful to me. I I really enjoy coloring with the Arctics. I would love to get the bigger set. I just don't have them right now. They do have a barcode on them. Makes me wonder if they are future going to sell them open stock. Um, it looks like it says the color name. And just like give it a different number. Yeah, they have color numbers on them too. So you can swatch these out and they have color names and numbers. Um, I'm just going to have fun with these and maybe eventually I will get the larger set. But for now, I've just been having a good time with 72. And I know you can get this case bigger comes in a bigger case too. The style. My next one, it has this flower case that looks kind of Levi-y <laughs> and it feels like Levi's, like jeans. And this one houses all my Derwent ink tents. So um, I have the full set of Derwent ink tents. And I had a small set of 12 that I tested before I bought, got the big set. And so I have stuffed in, so these are extra, uh, the 12. So I took the 12 out of the little tin and stuffed them in here. And these last a long time. That's why they look so long because 
a little bit goes a very long way. But as you can see, I love my yellow colors. So yeah, I need to pull these out and have more time with them because I really love them. If you do not know about Derwent Ink Tents, so it is a water-based pencil, but instead of it being like watercolor, it is ink. Uh, so once you color it down and you activate it, once it dries, you cannot move it again. It stays that way because it's ink. Um, if you use a watercolor pencil and then you re-wet it, re-wet it, you can still get movement. So that's the difference. Basically, once you activate these, that is it. You are done. Which is nice, especially if you're layering. So, yeah, there are those. actually had to have my son pull these um, pencils off the top of my closet for me because I can't climb on ladders right now and he's 6'4", so he was able to reach them fairly easy. <laughs> um, this In this B case, it used to house my small set of Colleen's, but I have switched it out now, and now it houses my Hippie Crafter pencils. Um, these ones were sent to me for review, and these perform beautifully. Um, Budget-friendly pencil. This is say color name and number. And of course it says Hippie Crafter. Has been dipped on the ends. Just a black barrel. Round. Sharpens great. Uh, definitely a beginner-friendly pencil. It is wax-based. It doesn't take too many layers. But it does a pretty good job of blending within each other. So, yeah, I have been using them, actually, in my Lulu Mayo books and have been enjoying it. Alright, let me just grab the next size up. Okay, I'm back at my desk. <laughs> it's like a... takes your breath away. Okay, so this is the next size up. This actually held my Prismas at one point, too, but then I've upgraded bigger. Um, so I got a few sets of different things in here. First things first, we've got a pencil extender. These are the Ko Koinor Hard Month Polycolor Pencils. So these are um, oil-based pencils. I have used them. Um, they are harder. Uh, with these particular pencils, there is a learning curve to them, definitely. Uh, they are great for layering. Um, if you're looking for a smushy, waxy pencil, these are not for you at all. These are not as soft as, in my opinion, they're not as soft as a polychromos. Uh, they're a little harder, but... Um, if you're looking for texture and stuff like that, I highly recommend these. Now they do have a hexagonal barrel, so if that bothers you, maybe get one of those uh, pencil grips or something. They do um, they do have barcodes on them. I do think you can get these open stock, and they do have numbers on them, so you can swatch them. I do not have color names on these particular pencils. But I'm sure there's a chart out there somewhere that probably has names and all that good stuff. Flipping past these, and I think this is like a 72 set, if I'm correct. These ones, these black barreled ones, are the Derwent Chroma Flows, and they have a color name and number. I do love the Derwent Chroma Flobes. Fl Flobes. Derwent Chroma Flow. <laughs> uh, they're very soft core uh, pencil. Um, I I would love to get the 72, but I only have the small set. I think mine's 24. I just haven't. It just seems so expensive to get the big one. I can't afford the big one right now. But yeah, I'll just be happy with the small set for now. 
uh, in the back here, I have the Jane Davenport pastel, or not pastels, Jane Davenport pencils. Uh, I got these on sale at Hobby Lobby. All of Jane Davenport products were like 50% off, and then I had a coupon, so I just, yeah, I was like, okay, I want to try these. They're really interesting, like, names. <laughs> this one's called Egg Yolk. We've got Buff, Highlight, Contour, Kiss Kiss, Candy Floss, Pixie, Mystic, Feather, Flamingo. This is an odd color for Flamingo. Uh, Heart Throb, you know. These, uh, when you color down with these, they're not very pigmented. They do work. I mean, they work just fine, but they're not very pigmented at all. So that's just something to keep in mind if you see these and you're interested. And they don't have um, numbers on them. So that is these. Next what I have is in this Schuliner. Uh, th these cases are really nice cases. These are my Brute Furniture Squares. So, yeah, these have been tucked away. Time to pull these out. I do like these. Um, actually, I want to test this. So I got a new pencil sharpener. Let's see if we can... Yep, I can sharpen it in my new pencil sharpener. Which is awesome. So, they have, say something in, I think, Japanese or Chinese or something... I'm sorry, I, I haven't translated all this, but I know someone out there has, but they do have the numbers on them. I know Emma Colors uh, 2020, she loves these pencils. Um, these pencils go on sale a lot, so I do have a backup set in my closet because, oh, as you can see, I just sharpened that. Every time you sharpen it, a lot gets eaten away and they're very soft very soft like prisma soft so they're very mushy I definitely want to pull these out and see if they do a good job in my Lulu Mayo's now you can see all these indents in my pencils it is because I tried to sharpen them in the doll pencil sharpener and because they have metal grips inside them they will leave these marks on your pencils I hate that, so I got the Mitsubishi um, manual pencil sharpener, and the grips inside those are, are uh, coated with rubber, and so they don't do this to your pencils. But now I have this electric pencil sharpener by Eighth Matte, and they fit in electric. So, yeah, my Brute Furner Squares. is this one kind of looks like a sweater material but it's um same material as the teal one and this one has a conglomeration of pencils oh so look i even have a little swatch thing this is the new thing i'm doing so i have a swatch sheet uh a swatch book that um is by yasmin uh yampuff and what I'm doing is I'm cutting, taking out the pages and I swatch the colors that I have and then I laminate them because they fit perfect in my case. So they're with my pencils all the time. I don't have to worry about additional books and all that stuff. I can just bring the case. This is my um, Karen Dash Pablo pencils. And one, luminance. <laughs> uh... This luminance has not been used. I bought it open stock because my favorite color is yellow. And I've scratched it a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like a savory thing. I have used my Pablos. Um, the Pablos are very, very nice pencils. It's like if Prismacolor and um, Polychromos had a baby, it would be the Caran d'Ache Pablo. In my opinion, um, they are hexagonal barrel and they ha uh, have the color name and a light fist rating and I think this is the color number right here and they do have a barcode up here but it looks like after a while that would get shaved off but I know you can buy these open stock 
and I do have two blenders here. These are the Caran d'Ache Full Blenders. So I have two of them in here because these are Caran d'Ache pencils and I figured, hey, let's put them in with the Caran d'Ache stuff. Next set I have is this one, which are <laughs> the blah, 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 blah. I guess these are mark art pencils. I guess I have more mark art pencils than I thought. Maybe this is a larger set than the one in the small set. Oh, I know. I bought an extra set of mark arts. And my tin got damaged. So I put them in here. Because the mark arts are really good pencils. That's why these don't look like they've been used. Because they're brand new. They just came from the tin. Because the tin got damaged. And I had extra space in this. Um this case flipping over we have these really fun ones they're called smooth and bright they're by Marco these are actually really good pencils um, they lay down really well uh, they don't have dipped ends so you can see the cores they hexagonal barrel again I don't mind the hexagonal barrel honestly uh, yeah I've only used these one time they had really good reviews though. So yeah, they're wax. These ones are wax, I think. These are, uh, the Mark Arts are wax. And the Pablos, like I said, there's gotta be a mixture in there because it's like, like that combination if the two pencils had a baby. And if I gave my opinion about the luminance, I can't tell you whether I love them or not because I only have one and it's hard to, give a real good opinion when you can't blend it all you can do is lay it down and feel it I do like the luminance um, if I had the choice between luminance or light fast pencils I would get the luminance over the light fast for an expensive set <laughs> Next one I have is this gorgeous case. It's black and has flowers on it. This one is a combination of pencils too. Ah. So these are the Derwent um, Chrome Flows. And I've used these. Um, I've used these in a few different books actually. And I love the Chroma Flow. Uh, I think they're very soft and very creamy. Um, they do pair up, not Chroma Flow, these are color soft, or what color soft, duh. <laughs> um, these are very smooth and very creamy. Uh, I do think you can pair these with the Chroma Flows and they work great together. So yeah, these are beautiful. These were gifted to me from a friend. I had a small set and then a friend uh, gifted me a large set and that was very generous of her. So yeah, so happy to have those in my collection. And then at the end here, um, I have just a small set of the um, the color blend by Spectrum Noir. These are the, I think that it's like the pastel set. It looks like a cake on the front of it. I don't know if it's called the pastels. I don't know if it's called the brights. I don't know what it's called. But um, I got these because I liked the colors. And they're very soft. And I thought they would be good to pair with these. Now, these are 10 times better than these. And so I will tell you that right there. Uh, these don't like to layer much. They are a good creamy pencil, but they, for layering, no. And they only perform on certain papers. I notice if a paper is really smooth, they have a hard time laying down. But if a paper has a little bit of texture to them, they do fine. Or um, even Amazon print paper books, they do fine. It's just when I get something that's really smooth, they just don't work like I want them to. It's like a night and day difference. So yeah, something to keep in mind if you're looking at those color blend pencils. And it could just be my experience, but I noticed that I've been having that kind of issue with mine. I've got 
this one's on my desk. <laughs> so this one's like old fashioned stuff. I think it's supposed to lay like this, but I'm used to having my front look like this. So yeah, it's just one of those things. These are the Shapir Farben pencils. I have the 90, what, 92 cent? And there's lots of colors in here and they have uh, unique color names and these are marketed as an oil based pencil. They say the name and the color number very easily read. I adore these in the Amazon print paper books. I think they do great. Uh, the books that are from the Coloring Hive, they lay down beautifully in those books. So you can see how beautiful those are. And then I do have a few open stock pencils lingering in the back here. So this is one of my iconic fine liners in case I need a fine liner. But up here are my Prismacolor neon pencils. I have three of those that I purchased open stock. These are my only Holbein's. So this is my selection of Holbein's. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven Holbein's. Most of them are neon colors. And then I have one skin tone. And then I have one Derwent Light Fast pencil right there. So the uh, if you go to the Derwent website, you can request for one sample sent to you. You can either choose Ink Tense or the Light Fast. Since I had a full set of Ink Tense, I um, had them send me a, a Light Fast one. And this one works really well. I wonder if these are oil based because they kind of, they're not as mushy as like a Prisma or a Chroma Flow or anything like that. It's just interesting. And um, I noticed with the the Lumis, uh, these are called like Luminous Lemon and stuff like that, Luminous Orange. They color differently, these Holbein Lumi ones. They color differently than say the other colors that are just regular colors. They don't, these aren't as soft as say the regular Holbein's. That's just an observation. And then obviously the Prisma colors are really fun. So there are those. Someday I'll probably get Holbein's, but the big set <laughs> slowly just get one or two a month and maybe eventually in my lifetime I'll collect them all. Who knows? Next uh, case I have is this black case. Very nice case. These pencils must be relatively new because they don't have a tag. And these are the Cezanne uh, colored pencils. Uh, they have the silver and the dipped ends. I've used them uh, briefly on one pitcher and that's it. Uh, so I need to pull these back out. But they do perform great uh, for what I have used. Um, they say Cezanne and they have a number. And it says Creative Mark Artist Products. And I think I got these because I saw someone do a review on it. No, no, I just saw them on Amazon. And I thought, I wonder how those would do. And I showed them on the channel as I hauled them. And they do perform really well for a budget set pencil. And so I am very pleased with them. And they have very a ton of colors. So look at all those. All those blues and purples. I like to have a range of those kind of things. So look at that. Look at all those skin tony colors. And all the warm brown colors. And we even got some like off green color type colors. Yeah. I think this is a really great range of colors. And yellow is my favorite color. And they have a nice range of color in the yellow and in the orange. Sometimes those are left out. I should see this stack next to me. I have like this pencil stack. As I can, as I told you, I have lots. Oh, this is one of my very first set of pencils. Um, my husband bought these for me in 2019. These are the Castle Art pencils. They are the soft series. They are not the 
gold castle art or the new fancy castle arts. These are just the basic ones. <laughs> I use these a lot. Um, they just have, it just says castle art supplies, soft series, and they have a number. No color, name, or nothing. And as you can see, I've used them <laughs> because they were my very first set and they were soft. But now that I've been spoiled with better pencils, they're not as soft as they used to be. <laughs> I will say I did struggle coloring in Romantic Country with these just because that paper is so, um, like, so, ugh, soft. So, like, slick. or Well, I guess it's not slick, but it's not very textured. So, yeah, I struggled with that. But these do perform really great on textured paper and Amazon print paper. The less textured it is, the harder I have on using them. Now, I did get two tins, Castle Art uh, Portrait and the Castle Art Seaside. I didn't realize those colors were the same colors. They had the same colors that were in here, so I'm going to donate those. Probably sooner than later, I don't know. But yeah, I don't need those because I have plenty of these. Next set is on this mint green flower case. This is gorgeous. And I wanted to have one of my favorites in this gorgeous case. And it is the Lyra's. Now, I need to share the... Uh, I need to give these some love. So these ones are brand new. Um, I originally had the 32 set, and then later down the road, my husband bought me the full set. So, so these are all brand new because I had been just using the 32. But you can see in the 32, I've used them. And with these, um, they're from Germany and they look wood, wooden and dipped ends. They do have uh, the color name and a number. They are very thin barrel. This is another one of those if Prismacolor and Polychromos had a baby, it might be the Lyra's um, or the Lyra, whatever, you, however you want to call it. I call it Lyra. I adore these pencils. Uh, it was I got these pencils shortly after I got my Castle Arts, and it was just, yeah. I had these, my Castle Arts, and I had my Prismacolor pencils, and I just loved it, because I, I couldn't afford the Polychromos, and um, the 32 of these went on sale at my Walmart, I remember, uh, for, um, Black Friday or something, and I got them for 20 bucks, and <laughs> I was so excited and I loved using them in the Hannah Lynn books and yeah, I really, really like these. Uh, I think they're more oil than they are wax. Very thin barrel, by the way. Um, yeah, I do enjoy the Lyra Rembrandt. Alright, next one I have here is in the Flamingo case and these are my star joys I got the star joy pencils uh, because it felt like it was the craze and they were on sale and yeah I have a problem with that guys when, when the pencils on sale and everybody raves about it I have to add it to my collection I have not given these enough love I've actually given my Mark Arts more love than my Star Joys. And people say they're very comparable to one another. But these this Star Joy set, I think, has more color options than the Mark Art. Look at these pretty colors of purple. That's a lot of purples. And look at all those pinks. That's a lot of pinks if you like pink. We've got one straggler that's like an orange. They've got numbers on them, but I think, oh, this isn't, it's slightly etched in, but I think if you were rubbing your hand against this enough, it would rub off. 
says cherry pink and the number. Oh, it says crimson. Hmm. I think I put them in number order. And then we've got two metallics. So yeah, I need to give these some more love. Keep those ones out. Okay, give me just a second, guys. Okay, I'm back. Now we've got some big ones. Um, they held a lot. This is my Prismacolor pencils. And this purple one. Uh, because I have... I have the... 150s in there but um originally I had the 132 so I've tried to fit the 132 and the 150 in here so I have spares next to them so you can see how we've got some short guys well their spare is right next to it and like I couldn't fit all of them with their spares so as you get going farther into the pencils, um, you can see I start to not put the spares in because I don't have enough room. So the very last section that has like the grays in it and the browns, they don't have their spares with them. Some of them do, some of them don't. But I have a tin with all the spares, so if I run out of these particular colors, I can. That one broke off. Um, I can always look in my spare box. I tend to go through this color a lot, chartreuse green, and I wish uh, I w I have probably just need to buy like twelve of these. <laughs> I really like that color, and that is my spare, by the way. Yeah, I definitely use my Prismacolor pencils. And if you guys have never seen a Prisma, which is probably unlikely, um, it does have color numbers and color name. And they're very smushy and buttery. A lot of people like Prismacolor pencils because they blend effortlessly. Oh yeah, these are my Prismacolor pencils in this mammoth case. <laughs> Next mammoth case I have is this retro green one, and these are my polychromos. I haven't used my polychromos nearly as much as my Prismas because I'm kind of savoring them. All the pencils that are backwards are work in progress pencils that I'm using for something, which I don't remember what it was. Yeah. I actually have the full set of polychromos and then I have a smaller set of polychromos in here too because I had bought a small set originally just to see if I would like them. So here's my small set right here. You can see I've used these ones a little bit more. And polychromos are oil-based pencils and They've um, got color name and number on them. A dipped end, so it's capped. And they're by Faber-Castell. They are made in Germany. They feel lovely in your hand. And they are effortless to put pigment down. And these particular pencils can layer for days. So if you are a layerer, you would really enjoy these pencils. And then in the back here, since I had this free, um, I put in my, um, bleh, can I talk, my chameleon pencils. So these are made in Austria and they are a double pencil. So like here's silver gray and cool gray. How they work is you can use, you could color this and then use this for its shadows. And all of them are like that. Uh, these pencils are very hard leaded. Uh, I do want to give you, uh, let you guys know that. But these have the best pigment I have ever seen. So if you're, you like hard lead pencil and really good pigment, uh, you would probably really like these. It is kind of like sad that they're not a whole pencil because 
once this is gone, that's gone, you know? So you're really only getting this much pencil per color. Uh, I got these on sale for $20 on Amazon once, and so I got them. I just wanted to see what they were like because I'd never tried a Chameleon product. And uh, like I said, the pigment is fabulous. But they are hard. They are hard pencils. So, just a heads up on that. Don't know if they're wax or oil, so I'm not sure on that one. But I put them with the polychromos because they have a nice thick barrel. My other mammoth case here <laughs> is pink. And this one houses all my Black Widows. So these are my Black Widow swatches. So that's kind of what it looks like. I've laminated it so you can see all the different colors. And there's little symbols that say, hey, this is the dragon set. This is the scorpion set. I have these set up so they're in with their sets. So these are the skin tones, light skin tone. These are the monarchs. Um, these are relatively new, that's why they don't look very used. Uh, Monarch Dragon. And my original dragon set was messed up, so I uh, messaged Black Widow, the Black Widow Company, because um, I was missing all these colors. I was like duplicates of this throughout the whole set. And so they sent me a new set, and so I have extras of like all these purpley colors of the old set. Dragon ones are beautiful. See, I've used these ones because I've had them a lot longer. These are the old school uh, scorpions. As you can see, I've swatched them and, on little tags and put them on the ends myself because I wanted a color dipped in <laughs> back in the day. And these ones are the Cobras. I'm missing one Cobra color, I know for a fact. Um, I do not have a backup Cobra set. I put it on my wish list, but then I took it off and because I want to use these first, but as you can see, they're getting kind of short, so maybe sooner or later I will get the new set of Cobras. I do have the new set of uh, the Black Widow ones. I just haven't put them in here because I'm trying to use up these ones. Um... So, I have the new set of the dipped ends of the Black Widows, but not of the Scorpion or the Cobra. I love Black Widow pencils, by the way. So, before I go into that other pencil, um, Black Widow pencils, well, I should look at a brand new one because if you're getting some pencils, you'll probably get the new ones. Uh, they do have color names and numbers. They are very soft. Hexagonal barrel, dipped end, uh, should be the new ones. Um, the, I I just really like these. They're wax-based pencils. They're one of my favorite pencils of all time. It is ranked up on my top five. Look at that one. It's really short. I do have some extras because I actually went through, before these ones, I went through two other Scorpion sets. So that's how much I like these pencils. I've gone through sets uh, this last selection here are the Prismacolor watercolor pencils. And I haven't used them very much because I need to go get more into uh, watercolor pencils. But uh, they're very pigmented. They work great. Uh, these are, what is this, the 32, maybe 24 set? I think it's a 24 set. And I got these on eBay for $8, so... Can't go wrong with eBay. They're made in Mexico. Color name, color number. Good to go. I think you can get a 32 set though. I think it comes in a 32. I have this really cute case by Ain Sean. <laughs> and this one hosts houses 
all of my pastel pencils. So first I have, for the most part, all my pastel pencils. These are the Astra. Um, the Astra Pastelo pencils that everybody was comparing to the Holbein pastels. So I got them because <laughs> I can't afford the Holbeins. And I put them in here and they got abandoned <laughs> because, yeah, they were all the way in the back of my closet that I can't reach. And now that they're out, I'm going to have to have to play with them. They don't have color names or numbers on them. I saw many reviews of these and they look like fabulous pencils. So I definitely want to give them some love. So those are those. And then right here, all these square ones are the Burt Ferner um, pastels, I believe. Mm, nope. Marco. <laughs> Marco. Let's see. I do have the Burt Ferners in here, but pastel Marcos. So Mar these are the Marco square um, pastel pencils. Where did I get these? I don't remember. Did I get them on AliExpress? I'm not sure if they're on Amazon or not. But I have colored with these ones. And they color beautifully. And they're square just like the Burt Furners. That's why I thought they were the Burt Furners, but they're not. Um, they do have color name and number on them. And they're shaped just like the Burt Furners. So that's why they threw me off. These ones are the Burt Ferner uh, pastels. So, um, yeah, Burt Ferner pastel. And we've got name and color number. And I don't think I've even used these. I think I was just organizing all my pencils and I was like, oh yeah, I just bought the Burt Ferner pastels. Let's put them in here. So I put them in here and yeah. Last one are these babies, and I have used these ones. These ones are the Chroma Marco Super Premium Pastel Pencils. There's, a, there's not tons, but there's a little bit. These ones perform beautifully. Um, I did these ones in a Jade Summer book. I tested them out, and they did a wonderful job. And um, yeah. They're a very pretty, pretty pencil. So as you can see, I have all of my pastel pencils in here, pretty much. So if I need to just grab the pastel set, I have a ton in there. All wax-based pencils, I think. Uh, the Brew Furners might be oil-based. I'm not exactly sure. I've got a gazillion tags on this because there's all those pencils in there. <laughs> I do like this case, by the way. It's really cute. Now, uh, these pencil cases aren't the ideal pencil case for me. I prefer the single slot, but to have so many pencils, this works. I have one more case that's like that, which is this one. This one's really pretty. It has lilies on it. Normally, you use these ones for markers, these type of cases. But when you have a big set of pencils, you kind of have to do something different. So these are the original colors that I got that I couldn't return. <laughs> um, these are the 180 color, and I must have bought the student um, set uh, because they don't have captains, first off. So I don't have captains. They are very pigmented. Uh, they do have the name and the number. I guess I was just disappointed because I ordered the wrong one. I wanted to get the one that had the black barrel that had the capped end on the bottom. That Yeah. And then I contacted Calor and I told them what had happened. And they said, these pencils should be just fine. They're just not as thick of a core. But the pencil inside is exactly the same. So, I didn't stress too much about it if these are supposedly the same exact pencil, just in a different look. Yeah. I started swatching these out, never finished. 
That's a lot of pencils to swatch out. I have sharpened them. Yeah, very good budget-friendly pet pencil set. Very pigmented. So, yeah, the 180 colors. Uh, I did notice with these, um, after you color down and, like, you close your book, uh, if you haven't sprayed a fixative on it, or um, if you are coloring on the reverse side, the pigment will actually transfer on the next page over because they're so pigmented. So that's something to keep in mind. Prisma colors do that too, though. If you put down a lot of pigment. These ones, since I have the new 280 set, these ones may get donated. these these are the Coloria pencils these were sent to me by Coloria for review I have colored with them they are a very nice pencil I will tell you and you can very clearly written um, yeah so they have the color name on them and the number and I was just watching Emma colors and she likes these a lot too and she said um, after time, this will actually rub off as you're holding your pencil. So, yeah. They have a really fun design on the end and stuff. These are just wax based pencils. Um, these recently went on sale on Amazon and they come with this case. So, hey, you can't go wrong with that. Have a nice case and a nice little set of pencils. I, uh, I would consider these a very good travel set of pencils. Um, I believe they're wax base. Is, I think that's what I said, right? <laughs> All right. Another Calore product is these. That is really loud. Sorry about that, guys. And these are the Calore water uh, watercolor pencils. And I haven't had an opportunity to play with these because they're relatively new. Um, they say watercolor and color on them. Hexagonal barrel, sky blue, light fast rating, and number. And um, if they're anything like the other color products, they should be really decent. I have seen Sandy from uh, Coloring Creatively, I think is her channel's name. She used these on some of the Creative Haven books, and they performed beautifully. So... Yeah, I'm excited to try these. This is a very different um, setup for um, a pencil case. They just slide in here and you can take them out. And there's a swatch chart in here and it comes with a, a water brush. So if you wanted just to take this with you, you could. But that is this Color watercolor set. I'm not exactly sure how many pencils were in here. It probably said on the swatch sheet. It's probably 120 is my guess. So that are those. I have this case that's very cute. This used to house my Black Widows and then as Black Widow grew, I had to grow with it. <laughs> it now houses combination of pencils let's see just as watercolor pencils <laughs> all right so as you can see I have lots of watercolor pencils I like watercolor pencils a lot because they're fun <laughs> these are the Anna Valencia or Valen Valence Valency Anna Valency uh, watercolor pencils unfortunately you can't get these anymore um they do have really good pigment and they do work great. Uh, as you can see, I haven't like sharpened them massively. Massively, what I like to do with these particular pencils is just take my water brush straight off the the tip and use them that way. They do have color name and number, and they look beautiful. The next ones I have here that are the hexagonal barrels are my Arteza watercolor pencils, which are wonderful. I like the Arteza watercolor pencils. I don't have the full set of 120s. I think I have only, the, I think I have the 72. 
if I remember right. Uh, they have color name, number, and light fast reading. And have used these in the Romantic Country books. They do a beautiful job. And I've used them on Amazon paper and they do all right. So that is all of those. And that fills up this whole case. So there are those watercolor pencils. And this adorable panda case um, that I love and maybe if they have a giant one of these I will spring for that one for my big color sets. These are my Arteza, Arteza Expert pencils. You can see I've created little swatch cards for these so that's kind of what colors you're looking like. Looking at um, these particular pencils, I feel like they're kind of short on the brown section. Uh, so, yeah, I wish they'd come out with a larger set than the this set, which is the 120s, I believe. I think that's what they are. Um, I like them a lot, but I just sometimes wish they had more colors. And, yeah, so these are my Arteza Expert colored pencils and they have a uh, name number light fast rating on them uh, a round barrel and capped ends beautiful beautiful pencils love to use those we're almost done guys this pencil case, I love this pencil case a lot too. I just think it's so fun and bright and cheery with the lemons. Oh, I was wondering why it was sounding so loud. It's because it was double zippering. <laughs> These are the Flowwood, um, what is it, 120, 180? 160. Um, so this is the new Flowwoods. And these are beautiful pencils, like I already shared with the earlier flow woods. They've got the na na bleh. they've got the numbers, no color name, <laughs> but they have such a variety of colors. I mean, look at all these beautiful shades. I am very happy with these. I haven't used these a whole lot because of the mere fact that I had the tiny one. But like I said, I think I may donate the tiny one to somebody else that needs some pencils and just use these bigger, this bigger set of low woods because I really enjoy this budget friendly set. Um, again, wax base pencil, round barrel. Alright, last one guys, I promise, and it's my biggest case. Oh. This one used to house all my gel pens. Not anymore. <laughs> this is my Colleen colored pencils. I love my Colleen colored pencils. I believe they're a Japanese colored pencil. Um, as you can see, I even use them. Um, yeah, I really like them. I had the original 72 set. My husband bought me the 120, and so I put them all in here together to be a big set of Colleen's. Uh, hexagonal barrel. We've got um, color numbers on them. No color name. But I think there's a website where you can find out the color names, but... So I'm not really a swatcher. I'm not going to worry about that. And I love the lay down. I feel like it's a good combination between hard and soft. They do not have a capped end, so they look very budget friendly. But yeah, it's fine with me. <laughs> um, I haven't had a problem with any paper with my Colleen's. 
I've used them in Marita Berman, I've used them on Amazon, I've used them on Lulu Mayo, I've used them in Erie, I've used them, yeah, I've used them everywhere. And I don't have any problems with the Colleen's. They're like what I call a go-to pencil, a pencil that's versatile with every book. And so, yeah, of course I have this. And I remember when I showed these on my channel and I showed the big case that my husband had gotten me, someone asked me to do a review on the Colleen Color Pencils. And this is kind of like a look-see at that. Um, like I say, Wax Base uh, just has a number. They're not super uber looking fancy. They're just a colored pencil, but they perform beautifully. And yeah, I don't know if you can, the 120s can be hard to find, but uh, if you see them, I think there's a 60, a 72, and a 120. One of them even has the double ends where it has the two different colors like the chameleons I showed you. If you want to just try them out to see how you feel about them, I suggest those ones. But yeah, these are my colleagues. So that's it, guys. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of pencil sets, and I try to diversify and use as many as I can uh, because I like uh, to try new things, and it's fun to try new products and have a good time. And I have de-stashed several pencils in the past uh, that gave me hand pain, like the Crayola Twistables and just different things. Um, I Either I give them to my kids or I give them to someone that needs them. I had that. Oh, you know what pencil I didn't show? And I don't know where it is. The Amazon Basics pencils. I have those too. They're somewhere. I must be using them or something. So I do have the Amazon Basic Pencils, the 42 count. Uh, if uh, you are interested in the Amazon Basic, um, they are wax base and they do perform pretty well. Um, I wouldn't go to town with layering and stuff. They are just mainly for a straight colorist. But they do, they are pretty soft. Um, so if you're looking at Amazon Basics, they are a pretty good pencil. And for the price, I think you can get the smallest set for like $9. So that is a good set, especially if you're gifting someone that is going into coloring. I would suggest that set. But yeah, anyway, if you have questions about any of the pencils you, that I shared, please let me know. And... Um, Hope you enjoyed this super long video. I know that uh, the next popular request was the markers and then it was gel pens and then watercolors. The markers is gonna be a lot harder for me to wrangle because I've got them in containers, I've got them in shelf units, I've got them, I don't just have them in cases. Um, the gel pens might be a little easier to share. I definitely can share the watercolors because I know where all that stuff is, and I can show you my collection of oil pastels because I have a collection of that too. But yes, um, have a fabulous day. Stay safe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, friends.